Hello and welcome to a tutorial on how to use the Google Classroom. This is aimed for both students and for parents so you can see how the work is accessed if students are at home. So as you can see in front of me here is the Brookvale Groovy website. Now you don't have to be logged into this in order to access a lot of the work but if you do log into it it can make life a little bit easier if you have to access things within Google Drives etc. So Easiest way to log into the website is to quite simply press the button up in the top right hand side, which is the staff student login. And then you use your username and your password that you would normally use in order to log in to the school website. Okay, and you can log in there and then you can access all of the apps and bits and pieces. But accessing the Google Classroom, I advise the best way to do this is via the app. So you could do with downloading the app from the App Store, from the Google Play Store, uh, which I've already done on this device. So I'm just going to find that and uh, show you it. So once you've got it on your phone, uh, you'll be able to use it really, really easily. So here you can see uh, Google Classroom. I'm going to click on that icon there, and that is going to open up my Google Classroom. And good news is, it looks to me like I have got a classroom all set up, ready to go. Uh, now, if you find that you go to open your classroom, and when you open your classroom, it seems that there is nothing there, it's possible that you are in the wrong account. Now, if you have got a Google account already, whether it be for your own Google Drive or whether it be for um, use of your own email, you might need to change account. So you can see up there, I've got a purple C. That's my account there. I'm going to click on that and I can change if I want to to different accounts. I'm currently in my classroom test student. So that's the one I need to be in. So that's fine. So I don't need to change anything there. So I'm going to show you the work that I've got and how it works. So initially, it will take you into classes, which is what I've got here. And uh, I'm currently only part of one class. I'm in 8XDG3, which is fine. And it seems that underneath it says Understanding Physical Theatre. It looks like it might be the work that I have set for me to do today. Now, what you might find with some classes is that the work won't necessarily be set in your usual Google Classroom for your class. So to give you an example, this 8XDG3 here is actually a drama and graphics group. And the graphics work that we do in lessons is work that you can't do at home because we use software such as Photoshop in order to do it and it makes life a little trickier. So we set separate work for you to do as part of your graphics work at home. So you'll find that there's actually a year eight graphics classroom that you will have been invited to and the tasks are in there. But if you're asked to do those tasks, you're likely to find in this classroom something that tells you as you're at home, then you need to do the work that's in the year eight graphics classroom. So I've already showed you the three lines up here on the top left hand side. You have access to the classroom, to the calendar, to the to-do list. You have, then would have access to all of the classrooms that you're in and some elements at the bottom that we don't need to worry about today. So if you want to look whether you or your child has got work to do, you can click on the to-do list and that brings up a series of lists of work which is either to do or done. At this moment in time, I do not have any work that I have done. Didn't mean to do that. Uh, that I haven't. Uh, that I need to do. So that's not there at the moment. It's. Uh, it's. It's. I've not done any work, so it's completely empty. But I do seem to have some work that is due today. There's two items of work at the top that have no due date. Uh, they are work that is set for the classroom and work that's done in the classroom. But there is a due today. That looks like work that's probably been set for me to do. Uh, at home, but I can double check that. And the way I can double check that is by clicking on my three lines at the top again and going this time to my classes and I can check, it says understanding physical theater. I'm gonna open my classroom and I do that just by, by pressing on there and opening up that classroom. So I can see I do have a new assignment for physical theater. And it tells me in my stream here that that's what's going on, uh, which is good, but I've got a classroom tab. I'm going to click on my classroom tab in the middle there. And all of a sudden I've got headings. And you will find that the work that's set will be within these headings. So the heading here says learning from home. So this is the work that they're going to be doing obviously at home. It might be that it's self-isolation work. It might be blended learning work. It might be work to do while isolating. It could be a different header. But my one here has got learning from home. 
and I can see that it tells me it's understanding physical theatre. So what I'm going to do is, as it's due today, you need to get that done. I'm going to click on that and it brings up the work that I need to do. So due today, 4 p.m., great. Uh, I can add a class comment if I want to here. So I can click on it and I can add a comment in that I might send to the class and then I can uh, click on the little paper aeroplane there to send it. Uh, but I can also add private comments, which I'll come to in a second. Okay, so on there, I can add a private comment, send it that way. I can also uh, add attachments or markers done, which I'll come back to in a few moments. So here I've got uh, a description. It tells me this is the work that I've got to do. If I scroll down, I can see there are three attachments here, which are going to help me with my work. So my work suggests... I've got to watch a 30 minute video clip, which is fine. Uh, and that video clip is the top one there. So if I click on that, what it will do is it'll open it up for me to look at. And there is my video clip that I can start looking at. So there we go, that's the video clip there. And I can watch as much as I need to of that, obviously in the same way that I do with YouTube, rotate my phone, make it full screen, uh, et cetera, et cetera. But we're not gonna watch that now because we don't need to. And we're gonna come back to our classroom here. So it says, once I've watched that 30 minutes, there is a Google form for me to complete. And that Google form looks that it's just here, Year 8 Physical Theatre. So I'm going to click on that there, and that's going to open it up for me just there. And I can see I've got some instructions in there. Uh, and I've got a problem here because it says your email address will be recorded when submitted. That's not the correct email address. So I just need to look and potentially switch accounts by clicking on there and going back. And I've now got the correct account above. Okay, so that's something you might have to do. Sometimes it tells you you do not have access to it, etc. So I can fill in my Google form, answer all the questions, and then once I've done all of that, I click submit, and that will submit that form to my teacher. Okay, so that's really important that you submit that form, otherwise, you don't get any of those uh, answers submitted to your teacher. I've also got down here uh, a knowledge organizer which has been attached to help me work out whether I saw some of these elements. Again, I can just click on that and that will open it up. I can zoom in and out. It looks like I've got some YouTube videos that I can watch to help me if I need to. Uh, but they are all the work that is uh, related. So once I've done all of those, I've filled out my uh, Google form. I think I'm happy. I think I've done it all. What I can now do and what's really important that you do is that it's submitted to the teacher. Now it might be that your teacher has asked you to do a drawing or to make a video or to take a photograph of something. So what you might find is you have to add an attachment. Your teacher might ask you to add an attachment. You do that by clicking on add attachment and you can add all sorts of things. So I can add uh, something from my drive I, and that's why it's useful sometimes to be logged in before you start because then you can access your drive without the hassle of having to log everything in. Uh, you can add a link or you can upload a file, which you might have done somewhere else. You can take a photo or record a video directly from your phone. You can also add uh, a new doc, a new slide, a new sheet, and a new PDF. Uh, and those things, although quite simple to do, you will find that having the apps for those things will make the functionality much, much simpler, much easier for you to do. So you might have to add one of those. You click and add those, and that's fine. And then what you're going to do now is you're going to mark as done. And by marking as done, it allows your teacher to know that you've done that work and there isn't anything missing. Okay. It also means that if your parents check, or um, then they can see that you've done the work. If you don't mark it as done and it's past the deadline, it comes up as missing. Uh, and it means that you've missed that particular deadline. So I've finished my work. I'm going to mark as done done and I'm going to submit my work okay so that's now submitting marks is done and my work is submitted great news so I can now drag down from there I can come across and it will still tell me that it's there but if I now go to my to-do list I can see on my to-do list that has vanished and if I go to done I can see that my work has been done just there so my work's been finished I can look at that as a parent as um as a student, you can know that you've done the work and it's all been sorted and it's all good to go, okay? So that's obviously the same for all of your classrooms. You can check back all of your classrooms and see which ones you've got. You can see now that that has vanished. If I drag that down to refresh, nothing reappears because I've done that work and that is all completed, finished and done. Hopefully that 
explains a little bit more about how you as a parent can monitor the work that students are doing within their classroom, but equally for you as a student, how you find the work, how you access that work, and how you submit that work to a teacher. I hope you find 